Welcome to the next video in how to use Visual Basic. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a little quiz or one quiz question anyway. First of all we're going to select the design. Here's the form and the first thing that we need to add is a little button to check our answer. Now we'll put that button in its place and one of the nice things about Visual Studio is that you can line things up easily. Notice the move bar on the bottom. Now I'm going to change the name of the button first because obviously as soon as we add something we change the name straight away. And this button is going to be BTN for button and then check because it's going to check the answer. And on the button we're going to want the word check. So that seems like a good way of setting this button up. Now option buttons need to work together. If one button is clicked the other buttons need to go out. So to do that we've got to group them and to group them we use something called a group box. So I'm going to double click on group box and here it is. I can move it and resize it. Don't need it too big for this. Right. First of all, rename it. Group box, so GBX seems like a good thing to do. And this is going to be question one, say. We may be having a little quiz on how to pass Visual Basic, whatever it is. So this is now called QBX question one. Now I'm going to change the text. Here I can put the question I want. So in this case, is Visual Basic easy? And when I press enter, that text appears up here. At the moment, if I click off that, yep, at the moment the little move thingy obscured the is, but is Visual Basic easy? We now have our group box, so we can add the option buttons that go in there. These are called radio buttons in Visual Basic, so I'm going to drag it, and you must drop it inside the group box. That's important because if you don't, Visual Basic isn't going to know that it's part of this group. So I drop it in there, and as usual, the first thing I'm going to do is to rename it. Despite what Microsoft call them, this really is an option button, so I'm going to call it opt, O-P-T, and I'm going to have this button as yes. So this button is called opt yes and here I'm going to change the text to yes. I'm then going to add the next radio option button. That's right, nearly used the Microsoft term there. That's bad move. Right, and I'm going to change its name to opt no and its text to whoops and its text to no and one final one we're going to have room for a don't know so this is going to be opt don't know. Notice that each word starts with an uppercase letter. You can't use the apostrophe. Naming conventions stop you using letters like apostrophes and exclamation marks and so on. So, but in the text you can use the apostrophe of course because that's just text. So there's don't know. Okay we've set up our quiz now let's check whether we get the right answer. So I'm going to double click on the check button and that opens up the code window. Here I'm going to type in if opt and notice that the options come up. We can use IntelliSense to go down to the yes and just hit the dot checked is the one I want I want to see if it's been checked, i.e. the little dot is there. 
then and I can press enter. Now a little programmer trick. I want to put up a message box that says either yes you got it right or no you got it wrong. So I need an else and if I put that in straight away and then click at the end of the then everything lines up and I know I've got all the bits and having all the bits in there is a good programmers trick to make sure that you haven't left anything out. Right here I want a message box and I want it to show open bracket well done right course right obviously the correct answer is yes visual basic is easy so therefore we want to put the well done message there well it works for me anyway right now what I'm going to do is another little programmer trick the else has to be exactly the same sort of thing just a different message so I'm going to copy this so highlight and control C control V to paste and then change the text not quite there yet huh oh, get rid of the full stop okay so let's see if this works let's run the program go to form quiz here is our little quiz is Visual Basic easy well obviously the correct answer is yes so if I check that the message box comes up well done right of course however if I click on no not quite there yet or don't know still not quite there yet and that's how a little quiz works it really is easy so I'll exit from the quiz exit from the program and you've survived yet another little bit of Visual Basic look forward to seeing you in the next video